Hi guys, uh, today I wanted to talk about training with hand grippers, specifically torsion spring grippers like this. Uh, everyone's seen these, they're really, really common. Uh, the misconception with these is that they training with this is going to increase your, increase your grip strength for everything. That isn't true, there's a lot of different types of grip strength, which is something that people don't really appreciate. You have crushing strength, you have pin strength, support strength, wrist, fingers, lots of different types and they're very specific. So training one strength isn't going to necessarily cross over to another. These train very specifically your closing or your crushing strength. So that's going from this position here and crushing down into like a fist position. Like this. So you're going to be building, if you build this strength, you're not going to be able to, that's not going to cross over to uh, hooking someone's head or grabbing onto sleeves with your fingers or um, or um, any other, or, you know, grabbing onto someone's wrist or anything like that. Very specifically, it's going to be this motion here. Which for me, the way that I train it in regards to grappling, for me, this is holding onto a lapel and holding onto pistol grips uh, on the sleeves. Very specifically. So that's that. That's what what that's going to train. Doing this isn't going to help. Training grippers has very little crossover into the other aspects of grip. It trains very specifically your closing strength. So in terms of that. Um, I still train with these for that specifically uh, and also just grippers separately but that's a whole different subject. Um, the, the big problem that people have with these, people have, who are already trained with them, is that they're a lot more technical than people think. You think a lot of people just grab them, they just start banging out reps like this and that's how you get stronger. It's not. Um, there's a lot of technique to it, a lot more than a lot of people think. So if you look at the range of motion here, when I put my hand around the gripper, it's actually quite a narrow one, but still, if I put my hand around the gripper, my hand's quite wide. And this range of motion all the way into a very tight closed fist position. Now for grabbing onto a lapel, this outside range of motion here, this first bit, is going to be completely useless. You're never going to have resistance when you're grabbing this top range of motion that we're seeing in this gripper. So we want to be training just this bottom position here. This tight, this is where you're grabbing on and holding on to the lapel. So in order to train and overload that bottom position, you need to be able to get your hand into a strong position where you can close heavy grippers. This is just a light one, we've got a lot of heavier ones here. So with this one I can just do this. But if I was using a much heavier gripper, I'm not going to be able to just grab it and go like that because the gripper's not going to be in the right position in my hand. So what you need to do if you're training with hand grippers is learn something called a set. A set is when you use your non-closing hand, your non-gripper hand, to help you get the gripper into position. So then you're nice and tight, uh, your hand is in the correct position around the gripper and you can just really work with a lot more power that end position there. Um, if you don't set, you're never going to be able to overload that end position. You're just, uh, you're just not going to be able to work up to the heavier grippers that you would be able to because you'll be struggling on this weaker range. So, in order to um, learn how to set, I'm not going to tell you how to do it. There's people better than me out there who have put this information out there. So I'm going to put a link in the bottom of this, uh, uh, underneath this video, uh, in the links, and um, that will take you over to a video of Paul Knight teaching you how to set grippers. Probably the best video of setting grippers out there. Learn how to do it. Practice it. It's going to make you a lot stronger in it. So once you've learned how to do it, how do you actually train? What reps do you use? Um, you know, what sort of stuff do you do with them? Well, the first misconception that everyone has with these, because they're very portable, people carry them around with you and they'll just take them to work, or they'll take them in the car and they'll bang out loads of reps. That's not how you train with this. This is a training tool like a barbell is a training tool, like a, like a squat rack is a training tool, like anything else that you use in the gym is a training tool. You wouldn't take a barbell to the to office and just do a couple of reps every couple of hours throughout the day. That's not how you should train with this. Uh, you can get very light ones and use it for recovery throughout the day, just getting blood back into the hands, but in terms of actually increasing your strength, just knocking out loads of reps every day isn't going to really do much. You're going to be very uh, uh, under, under your max of what you could do. You should train this like you would train anything else. Uh, I train this supersetted with either bench or squat in the gym. So take it, you know, t uh, take it seriously like you're doing with any other weight that you would be lifting. Um, in terms of Doing, using grippers to increase your grip strength for holding onto the lapel, knocking out lots of reps here isn't really going to do much. You don't grab onto the lapel and let go like that. So you're a lot better off using isometric contractions and holds. So set the gripper in place, 
squeeze here and try and hold on to it for as long as you can. As long as you can, you can get 20 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, a couple of minutes, whatever you want to do, you can mix up the, 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 the time that you're using it. Another tool for the same sort of thing, you can just grab something, I've just got a, a rubber block here, set the gripper, put this in between the handles, squeeze it here, so you can be crushing it, holding it, and then when your hand starts to weaken, this is gonna end up falling out, and then that's how you know your set's done. So both of those are good tools for training with this. I would still, if you do use these, do try and increase your maximal crushing strength, but if you're training it specifically for grappling, you're a lot better off using a lot of isometric holds. I hope this is helpful for you guys. If you've got any questions, let me know. Cheers.